the hallway. Wait, I can't see anything. I broke my glasses. So. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't look in the back. There's a board queen, I think, staring right at us. I'm not ready to be assimilated. <laughs> so, uh, hello, Rainbow, and this is David. Hi, I'm David Blue. Oh, I said, hi, I'm David Blue. There you go. You might know me from such things as Twitter. My <laughs> 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 Do you want to know that someone... Friendster. <laughs> Hold on. I, uh, two days ago, I actually got a notification in my email that someone tried to friend me on MySpace. <laughs> It is still around, they rebranded it for music now, apparently. Well, Justin Timberlake bought yeah. it for like $50 million is absolutely wasted money. You know how sometimes but I was like, I got you $50 million, but I don't want to buy it. Who tried to me from 2003? No, well, that's, who's still inviting me to LinkedIn? That's my question. You guys Why are you on LinkedIn? I have not. I have no LinkedIn ever. And every other day, someone's like, they're inviting you to LinkedIn. I'm like, ah, well, I will be that person forever then. LinkedIn for an actor? It's true. <laughs> For all those job interviews I go on. Oh my god. Uh, hi, everybody. Did you want to go? You want me to? Yeah, I have to go to the bathroom. He's going to go to the bathroom, and I don't know. Wait, hold on, real fast. Real fast. Uh, who here watched SG1? Raise your hand. Everybody, it's a Who here watched Atlantis? Raise your hand. Who here watched Universe? Raise your hand. Yeah. Who watched Universe? Raise your hand. Oh, God bless you. Uh, I don't believe all you. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> Um, I'm gonna bring in a special guest. Yeah, yeah. I'm bringing in a special guest while uh, he goes to the page. Is that cool? Yeah. Actually, a few special guests. If she answers. Oh, I'm gonna wait for her to answer. Unavailable. <laughs> Unavailable. I'm gonna try this again. You drunk. So the story of his life. What the? Okay. Well, you go pee. I'm gonna. No, 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 I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. Um, it's really weird. I'm gonna text her. What the hell are you doing? This is fun. Right? Is this exciting for you guys? <laughs> it gets better. Uh, so, should we just start with questions? I find that it's it's better to sit and to interact. Why don't we start with one question, question and then what we'll do is talk for like a year and not answer it. <laughs> <laughs> That's called a convention. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. No one has any comment. Yeah. No. I, I love, that's my other favorite part about it. Who has been the fight between your two characters and how they were? Twin characters? Well, me, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> how dare you are not dead? Am I? Uh, sorry. Um, I still <laughs> am, aren't I? I still picture, like, Who I'm winning in a fight? Uh, well, I'm not militarily trained. I'm not a mathlete. Well, not like a math fight. Yeah. That's, the only, <laughs> that's the only chance you got. <laughs> Give me the derivative of this equation. That's what I mean. <laughs> uh, that was the dirtiest thing I've said this trip. It's a draw then. Uh, yes, a draw because corpse and civilian. I still think I might win. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you trip and fall and stab yourself in my femur. <laughs> Funny story. So I, 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 I like stunt stuff, but they of course never involved me in any stunt stuff. And I injured myself on set during someone else's stunt. <laughs> I was in the hallway when Elise Chloe gets possessed and has a fight, and they're doing this awesome stunt thing, and I backed up to get out of the way, and my foot went into one of the grooves of the destiny, and I pulled my pants. <laughs> I hate you so much. Oh my god, I'm just picturing you and like, hurting yourself in the Yeah, and that's all badass thing happening there, and I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> and the medic coming, and, and the producer's yeah. asking how you hurt yourself, yeah. and they're like, well, they were doing the real stuff, <laughs> and I was walking. I also pulled my groin on an inner tube, so I'm just really good at hurting myself. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> that wasn't even a question. <laughs> you said it. Someone asked a question, and we're like, well, that reminds me of my favorite poem. It's true. It is true. It is true. Hello. 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 I've got a question. I think everybody wants to know the answer. Did you live or die at the end? Oh. Hmm. Well, of course I lived. Um, 
People are always like, do you think you live or die? I'm like, well, I like working. So I'm kind of living. Um, I actually do know what would have happened, for those of you who haven't heard the story. I, mm -hmm. Where are you? Have you just never paid attention during one Not time? to you directly. <laughs> no, um, weirdly, before we were, we were still filming season two, so we didn't know we were even going to be done yet. And I went up to Brad Wright on set, and I said, just out of curiosity, because I love this. We all love the show. I was like, what are we doing next season? And he told me what we were do doing for season three. What did he say? Uh, well, I'm not telling you. Uh, I'm not telling you because, now listen to the reasons. Because one, I didn't at first, because I hoped one day maybe we would wrap it up and do it. And then there was talk of doing some movies to wrap everything up too. So I didn't want to spoil it, so it would actually happen. And now it's half that. And half the way it ended, I almost said spoiler alert. It's been six years, you should have watched it. Um, That's amazing. <laughs> uh, because I like where it ended. It's like this choose your own adventure for fans. Like you can imagine anything you want having happened. And it's real because it's what you imagined. But you better freaking believe I survived. <laughs> Rush might not have. <laughs> Oops, I tripped over the cord. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, I survived. Watch though. So that was the Watch, Brad was lying to me, and I chased these three skirts, and that was just them killing me off. I'm gonna try calling her one more time. So he can ping. Sorry, one more, one more trip. You better man. What? Why is it happening? <laughs> She's just canceling it. What is going on? Someone else. Uh, no, <laughs> because mine's not just one person, it's a cool group of people. Oh. Next question. Wait, is Tori with the one? No. But when I hope they're in Australia? Yeah, is she there? Tori's Oh, then she's talking to me. Well, if they answer, for whatever reason they keep canceling it, we might have some fun. In the meantime, let's not talk about that. Daddy. Hi. Can you ask this question? What would you like to work with Robert Kylo? He's actually awesome. Uh, he's really nice. Quiet and shy and cool, and um, we hit it off pretty much right away, both with our love of liquor and <laughs> and I'm um, just really cool, um, completely unlike Rush, and and actually some of my favorite scenes at first with him were were just the two of us. Like I still remember doing a scene, air, 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 darkness, light, water, in water. Um, where we're yelling at each other as Eli and Rush in the gate room, people around us are doing all this stuff, and the gate's going off, and those were practical effects. Every time the gate stopped, it really blew steam, and it was loud as hell. And uh, we're like yelling at each other, and it's, it stopped feeling like we were in a scene. It felt like we were just living this life, and there was a four-wall set, it was like you're in the spaceship. It was amazing. Um, and then socially, we hung out all the time. We as a cast, for those of you who don't already know, were in love with each other. We, we'd get at my house every week to watch new episodes as they air. We'd drink, watch them, and then play rock band all night. <laughs> like Lou Diamond Phillips, Brian J. Smith, Louie, just like singing and playing rock band. It was awesome. So, Do you have a video of that? Um, I have many videos of that. Oh my god. I have some great videos of that. I, had so, like, I found them recently when I was going back for Throwback Thursdays. What the kids call them. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Every day is a throwback. Throwback Thursday. Flashback Friday. Way back Wednesday. It's like just, they're just memories. <laughs> um, but uh, I went back to try to find some pictures and I forgot. I take a lot of pictures and videos, but as Eli, I always had a camera on me. So I have thousands of pictures and, and hundreds of hours of video from set that no one's ever seen. So I've slowly been posting short ones on Thursday, but like, um, I have a good number. Did you take a lot? Do you have a lot of stuff from set? Um, no, I wasn't. I didn't take it. Jason Momoa apparently stole everything from set. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, like, so, I don't know. Like actual props and stuff? Yeah, like he just took shit, just like <laughs> constantly. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I've been told. Um, I didn't get anything. I didn't even get my chair back. I didn't get anything. Did you get your chair back? No, nope, they auctioned off my um, all my costumes. They didn't give me first refusal on any of it. They were real dicks. It's tough <laughs> with us. It, it wasn't because they were dicks. It's with us, we were killed. No, 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 they were no. But, dicks. but in our, in, in what happened to us? Oh, for you. They might have been dicks for you. Yeah. For us, it was half dickish. Um, we were canceled while we were on hiatus because we all thought we were coming back. 
And actually, some of them were like, but I found out that I was going to Not because they gave it to me. <laughs> or, uh, we were canceled and didn't have time to grab anything. So they had already auctioned off a bunch of stuff and given it away. I think Peter Kalamis ended up getting our chair backs for us. And I had asked for something the day we started filming, because I'm a huge nerd. For those of you who don't know, I'm a huge nerd. Um, the day we started filming, I said, look, and when we wrap, hopefully 10 years from now, having done like a bunch of Stargate, oops, I want one thing, <laughs> and I'm calling dibs on it now. And God bless them, they actually honored it. Tails Club, please. Tails Club. <laughs> I asked for Rainbow Sun Friends. <laughs> you got it! Um, I asked for the Akino. <laughs> and uh, when we wrapped, they handed me a Akino. So I have a Akino. But I never got any of my costumes, and I was really pissed about it. And then I met a wonderful fan at Comic Con who heard that and had bought two of my costumes in the auction. And he's like, well, I have two of your red shirts. He's like, you just want one? And he just gave it to me. And then I met another wonderful fan who gave me a full costume. So now I have a full costume at home, but it's all because of fans. It's not because of Well, there's, a, there's a fan that bought my costumes, and he should have because it come to me. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, I bought them for like 400 bucks or 300 bucks, and they're like these custom, it's my Lost, Lost Boys like leather jacket oh, and all this stuff. It's like really cool stuff, and it's tailored to me, and I really would like to have Is he here? Like, I'll beat him up. If you find out who this dude is, man. I always feel Just bad. Just give me an address, and I'll get my own costume. I'm going to ruin it in case anybody has any, but like I always feel bad when people buy mostly the costumes, because they're like, I have your shirt. I'm like, I'm sorry, I sweat so easily, that's gross. <laughs> Like I probably, that's probably a spaghetti stain from lunch. Like why? Why did you want that? That makes it burn it. <laughs> they're cloning <laughs> you. No, they're fucking DNA. No, they're cloning him. They're making him. They're making I have Spock's DNA. <laughs> they're making an army of clutches. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Moments of my life. 
Um, a friend brought to that party a life-size cutout of Jonathan Frakes, dressed as Will Riker, and he just made his way around the party and at some point ended up in the bathroom. Well, I had to pee at some point in the bathroom. And I walked in, I laughed because there's Will Riker. And I pushed him off to the side and I was like, I was peeing, in the process of peeing, jokingly, was like, you know, beat me up, Scotty. <laughs> no joke, there was a blackout <laughs> right then. The whole area of town just went black, but I'm peeing, and all of a sudden I'm like, oh my god, I'm gonna be on the transporter pad peeing. <laughs> all I can think of is I'm just gonna re it. Hi guys. Be my back down, you know what? Because you always have that fantasy it's real, you know? Like, Sam Beckett's gonna come up to you and be like, oh, I believe it's real, or something like that. <laughs> But that would be the worst moment for it to happen. So now I'm very careful when I say Zimmy up, Scotty. Um, okay, another question. I'm gonna try one last time. She doesn't answer. I'm gonna tell him. Next, next. Why do you keep saying unavailable? Well, maybe tomorrow we'll be able to do a fun surprise. You're a huge Stargate fan for your universe, especially in the commentaries. Um, lots of people waiting to you for sort of information. <laughs> When it came to actually shooting, did you ever get on the producers or directors' nerves and say, that wouldn't have happened, what about this? Not so much. Huge SG1 and Atlantis fan before I ever even auditioned for Universe. Almost didn't audition for Universe because of it. Because the role was described, it sounded like McKay, and I'm like, I can't be more David Hewlett than David Hewlett, nor would I want to try. But uh, it was different, and that's why I loved it. Um, not so much with the Stargate stuff. Um, I was just nerdy and had fun on set, but there was one, they had written one plot point, oh my god, people are videotaping, I hope they don't get in trouble for this. They had written one plot point in season one where we found a planet and Colonel Young decides to kind of lie to everyone and say that it's a planet that it's not and, and lies for a few episodes. And I don't know, I had balls or something. I walked up to an executive producer, creator, Brad Wright, and I was like, hey, do you watch Battlestar? And he said, no. And I'm like, well, I do. And it's a little bit like when they lie about a planet that they find and, and they changed it. Like, it's amazing that he changed it. It's amazing that he didn't just fire me. I'm like, hey, uh, good script you wrote here, but a uh, few notes. Um, but he was really cool about it. Other than that, it was just usually, you know, Brian or Elise calling me in the middle of the night after a new script came out going, what the hell is a stone? What's a communication stone again? Or what is the, the DHT? It was usually just explaining things to people on set. That's, yeah, that's how sad it is. But not as bad as some of my friends. My, the day that I was cast, my friend Brian called me. He's like, dude, what color is your chevron? <laughs> Next question. I feel bad about the phone call thing. Oh, come on. Don't make me just start telling random stories. They're going to be interesting. If you had to sell Stargate Universe to somebody who told you what Stargate and Stargate Atlantis, how would you sell it? Oh, it's easy. Because you haven't? Have you not watched it? No. Okay. It's easy for me to sell it because, as a fan of all of them, I loved all of them. I would have watched the hell out of Universe, even if I wasn't on it. Um, they're all very different, uh, not including Universe. SG-1 was more my jam than, than Atlantis, but I did watch it. I'll sell it the way that Brad and Rob sold it, the reason they did it. For those of you who know, first of all, for those, I have to say it, no one asked, but I have to say it. Atlantis was not canceled because of Universe. <laughs> Two completely separate things, just so you know. But they wanted to try something different, and I respect them for it. They created this world that we all love. They created the, I mean, not the movie, but they created like the SG-1 Atlantis world. And they wanted to create characters who didn't always necessarily win. They loved it, and they were having fun with it, but they, the way you put it, they were becoming superheroes. It's like they always, by the end of the episode, were going to figure it out. And they wanted to raise the stakes a little bit. And they wanted to kind of get rid of, um, you know, humanoid aliens and they want to have more unique things and kind of let their imaginations run and the best way to do that was to try something new. I love the style of it, the fly on the wall shooting of it, um, but it's a darker, more real Stargate uh, because people can die, there's risks, there's, there's reward and I even like the slow burn of it, you know, you get to know the characters more first and then you're more invested in them when things happen. Um, so I loved it. And you would have loved season three too. And you would have loved the movie. That I will say, they were going to do two movies. Uh, 
but then decided not to. But the first movie was going to be SG-1 Atlantis and Universe all in the same movie. And it would have wrapped up SG-1 and Atlantis. And then the second movie would have wrapped up Universe. Man, it would have been really cool. Dude, that's a fan? Like when I, I'm pretty sure I will a scene between McKay and Eli. Because I heard David Hewlett was going to be on the show. And on a panel in front of 7,000 people at Comic-Con, someone went, what do you think about David Hewlett coming on the show? And I went, I'm really looking forward to being in a scene with him. Because <laughs> the only reason they wrote one. I guilted him into it. I have a question for Rainbow. Yes, yeah, please. Oh. Did How was your pee? No, did you uh, wash your hands? so good. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> you said you just been for a pee. Every time. That's all right. Yeah, before, before and after, I love myself. <laughs> I was doing research. In the bathroom? Yeah. Yeah. Because because someone someone farted while I was in there. And uh, we're talking about space and it got me thinking about farting in space. Can 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 you do? Yes, it's just methane, it's a gas. They, which is very dangerous because it's not gonna go anywhere in zero gravity because there's no a thermal loss to push it up and down, right? So that means it'll just stay where it is and just be like a stinky ball of <laughs> floating fart forever. <laughs> this is what I was thinking about. But then I was also thinking, when you expel the gas in zero gravity, could you, could you theoretically <laughs> propel yourself forward <laughs> and have fart races? If Wally and Eva could do it, Fire extinguisher, then I'm sure you could win the fire. Uh, I don't fart like a fire extinguisher. You? <laughs> if you do, you would win you guys most of the races. races for breakfast every day. Well, you would win most of the races. Anyway, guys, that's just a side. Real technical science question. Stop breakfast. I played a marine. Wait, obviously, <laughs> you can see that I played a marine. <laughs> Different in the same world, like they 
David, you like enjoyed coming on and trying something different. And I'd like to believe that people who did music and all that felt the same way. Um, I got <laughs> Exactly as long as we went back to the 90s. 
for the 80s right now, for us. Why? Yeah, yeah. Mind that, Fred. <laughs> if we were to back to the future ourselves, we'd be back to the 80s. I realized that's why I had an 80s bar in LA, which was the most depressing experience of my life. Everyone there was like 20. <laughs> and I'm like, I grew up with this. And they're like, oh, I'm in the 80s. I'm like, no, you're not. We didn't wear that at all. Like, who's that guy? Like, Scott Sandra, shut up. I hate you. Oh, I love Black Yeah, it was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like a quagmire. Mixing all of the metaphors here. We're really mixing jobs.